music of Motown captured my heart. And I wanted to sing the songs of the Temptations and the and and Marvin Gaye and <laughs> the Miracles, the Four Tops, Stevie Wonder, the Jackson Five. Those those were just my idols when I was a kid. And here we are, about 50 years later, I finally got my opportunity to record those songs. And so this, this CD is, pays homage to my childhood, to the, the hope that a lot of these songs gave us kids that uh, we'd have a brighter day. Now, even though we had music and sports and uh, we had grandparents, and I just want to thank all the grandparents here today. If it weren't for my grandparents, I'm sure life would have been a lot worse for me, my brother, and my sister. Because my mom wasn't well and my dad was absentee. And so my grandma and my grandpa really stepped up and made sure that uh, my brother, sister, and I got what we needed in life. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of kids didn't, and not many of some of them didn't make it. Um, along with the positive comes the negative, and there was a lot of negativity in our neighborhood as well. And drugs and gang membership and gang association was huge. I was able to navigate that. Um, I was victimized, sure, but um, I realized that uh, my future lied in education and trying to make a better life for myself. And Praise God I was able to do that. So as I sing these songs, uh, we're going to cover about five decades here. And uh, I'll, I'll close with the song that I wrote, Resonate. And I hope that some of these songs will bring back some memories for you. Uh, I know that music is very territorial. Um, we, uh, we kids in the hood, we had uh, the sounds of... Of, of the black artists of the day and we just loved when they would be on Ed Sullivan or uh, on Sunday night watching all of our, our our heroes sing and of course in other neighborhoods the kids had their music you know and uh, Los Angeles was a very very segregated community there was the black neighborhoods there was the Hispanic neighborhoods Asian neighborhoods and then the, the white kids had their neighborhoods and everyone had their music. Uh, Motown, for some strange reason, was able to spill over into everyone's ethnicity. It didn't matter. The songs were just so amazing. So we're going to open with uh, my favorite group from that era, 1964. This was at the top of the charts. My favorite group, The Temptations, and this song is called My Girl. Hey, 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 
1967, uh, radio station KGFJ in Los Angeles sponsored a neighborhood uh, talent show called Soul Search. And it was uh, held at Jefferson High School, not too far from my house. And I hit the stage with my group. We were called the Four Regents. We were all about 12 years old. And uh, we sang a song by the Temptations called I Wish It Would Rain. And I would hit those notes, and the audience would scream, and I was like, who's that? Are they screaming for me? You know? <laughs> and uh, the, the disc jockey, uh, after we had done our number, he says, you keep singing, you got it. And I was like, wow. And then I heard the applause. We left the stage and w went, stepped off stage, and I was hooked. I knew that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life from 12 years old. So that was... Uh, 51 years ago, and I'm still singing my song. So I'm grateful to the Lord for blessing me with uh, my health and with a voice that's still uh, able to carry a tune. My wife has promised me, when you start to warble, I'm taking the mic. <laughs> she says, no, 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 you're done. <laughs> so, so far, she hasn't taken the mic away from me, so I think... We're still, we're still in business. Yeah. Well, this next song was another one of my favorite groups from that era. Um, I, I loved music in the 60s, the 70s, 80s, up until about the 90s. And right around the 90s, things started to go south for me with pop music. And I just lost interest in a lot of the subject matter and in a lot of the... The way it was presented, you know, and I thank God that I had church music to fall back on. You know, I could always uh, uh, trust God for putting a new song in my heart. But uh, these songs just bring back precious memories of a time gone by where the world, even though it's always been a difficult place to live in, it just seems back then things were a little less crazy. You, you know what I mean? It just wasn't in your face like it is today. And there was hopefulness. There was optimism. There was uh, uh, a feeling that, oh, yeah, it's bad, but we'll overcome. And, and life will have blessing. And there's a brighter day ahead. And so this is another one of those great, great songs from that era, 1974. The group was called The Stylistics. And they were from the Philadelphia area. So Motown, Philly, and down in Memphis, there was James Brown and Otis Redding and all those guys. But uh, Philly had some great, great songs. And this is one of them. This is called Lala Means I Love You. Any 
guys have come to you with a line that wasn't true and you pass them by. Now you're in the center ring and their lines don't mean a thing. Why don't you let me try? Now I don't wear a diamond ring. I don't even know a song to sing. All I know is la 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 la. I love you. Oh, do you hear me, girl? La 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 la. I love you. If I ever saw a girl that I needed in this world, you are the one for me. Let me hold you in my arms, girl, and thrill you with my charms. I'm sure you will see that all these things I'm saying are true. And the way I explain them to you, listen to me, la, 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 la. I'm saying are true And the way I explain them to you Yes, to you La, 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 la Means I love you Oh, do you hear me, girl? La, 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 la Make sure you fill out those uh, drawing slips. And if you haven't gotten food yet, please go get food. It's still available over there for you uh, this afternoon. I think Bob's going to let me sing with him now. Kathy's going to sing with him now.
my mother-in-law is here today, and she was like, you better let my daughter sing on this new CD. <laughs> and what mom says goes, right? <laughs> so Kathy's on three songs this time. This one that we're going to do for you now is a beautiful duet that was recorded by Lionel Richie and Diana Ross uh, back in the mid-80s. It's been that long. Wow. And a uh, huge hit for them all the way to the top of the charts. This is called Endless Love.
another Philly group, 1978, the Delphonics. And this is another great, great song. You make me feel brand new. I hope you like it. Thank you. My love, I'll never find the words, my love, to tell you how I feel, my love, mere words could not explain.
back to my childhood, my teen years, my adolescent years. A time of real hope, a time of, of wonder, really. And, uh, you know, it, it was, uh, it's pretty ironic that I could grow up in South Central Los Angeles under such uh, social, economic duress, but still remember the good times. I just remember grandparents who loved me, who kept me fed and clothed, and I didn't even know I was poor because I had food to eat and a roof over my head. It's just amazing uh, what little it really takes for children to feel secure and to feel as if life is worth living. <coughs> just give them the basics. And the bottom line with my grandparents, they gave me unconditional love. And they said, boy, ain't nothing you can't do. Don't be stupid. Oh, thank you. Because they saw a lot of stupidity. They saw it. And they were common sense people. And they said, if you work hard and if you get your education, there's nothing you can't do in life. And I believed them. And they were right. And the friends that uh, tried to take the shortcuts, many of them are not here anymore. It's very sad. Because I miss a lot of my friends. But there's a word of scripture that says, perfect love casts out fear, for fear has to do with punishment. And even though my grandparents disciplined me, and I deserved it, and I needed it, what it gave me was boundaries. It gave me safe places to live my life. They didn't place limits on me, but they gave me boundaries. And I think what's wrong with our society today is that boundaries anymore. We just think that we're entitled to do anything and everything we want to do. And it's very sad what has happened in society because of our, our need to be free at all costs. Well, freedom's never free. Someone be right to have freedom. And if there's one message that I can leave you with these songs from from my childhood is that true love never fails. It never fails. And there will be moments when we will be tested and we will be tried and we will make mistakes and life seems like it's been turned upside down. But if we persevere, true love will resonate. I hope you enjoy my song. We wrote this uh, in about a week. This is the title song from the CD, Resonate. Oh 
away We know our love will survive When it's this good love just resonates Our souls just dance and sing True love just resonates We're flying on angels' wings True love just resonates Controls our sweet, sweet love just resonates. The greatest joy of our souls. Together we keep getting stronger. We'll stand the test of time. No matter how life tries to tear us down, we'll win because. The new one is for sale today along with all, all seven other CDs, so we'd love for you to take Bob home with you. We're going to get started with Trilogy in just a few minutes, so this would be a great time if you need to use the restroom. There's one on the other side of that little treehouse there, there's one on the lower level of the house over there. 